Aloha everyone, welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Also, this is the first video of 2021. Well, at least the first video I'm filming. I don't know when it's gonna go up. But happy 2021, everyone. I'm so excited for this new year and seeing what it's going to bring. I really have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying not to have too high of expectations, but one thing is clear. I'm gonna make 2021 my bitch. Anyway, <laughs> in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about two different popular ingredients, benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. And I'm gonna be debating which ingredient is better. D debating, delegating, degrading, disintegrating? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be discussing, there we go, discussing which ingredient I think is better. Now, if you've looked into these ingredients, you've probably struggled with acne. And here's the thing, having acne is totally normal, it's totally fine, and I don't think there's any reason for us to look down on it, but it is good to take care of your skin, and I think we can all relate by saying we'd rather not have acne. But if you like it, then you go boo. Both are really, really popular anti-acne treatments, and you'll hear a lot of times people are recommending salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, and you'll see them recommended in different environments, or dermatologists and estheticians recommend one or the other. And here's the thing, the skincare industry is already so fucking confusing as is. Trying to know what type of ingredients do what, and then trying to learn about specific ingredients and how they interact with each other and which one is better, it, it's exhausting. So hopefully this makes it a little bit easier as you move forward trying to pick an acne treatment. Trying to treat acne can be a difficult road because most of the time if you're experiencing acne, your skin at some level is sensitive and you don't want to be pummeling it with so many different ingredients trying to see what works and potentially making your skin freak out in the process. So in this video, I wanna break down the ingredients, compare them to each other, decide which one is better depending on what you're struggling with and give some product recommendations and alternatives. So let's get into it. So which one should we start with? I can't decide. Um... You know, we're gonna go alphabetically. Benzyl peroxide. This one is the tried and true ingredient that has been around for a long time and recommended by dermatologists, whether it just be on the shelf or through a prescription. You may have seen benzyl peroxide in a lot of cleansers because it's a very popular ingredient typically used in wash off treatments, although you can find spot treatments or overall face treatments with benzyl peroxide in it. The great thing about benzyl peroxide is that it prevents and kills the bacteria that causes acne on your face. P. acnes, if I wanna put it shortly, but I will put the whole name here because it's way too long and I don't wanna pronounce it, and I'm not in the mood today. One of the reasons it's so great that it does kill this bacteria is that you're kind of targeting the root problem. When it comes to acne, a lot of times it seems like it's just maintenance, like trying to reduce and minimize the acne that's already there as much as possible and trying to get rid of it. But the great thing about using an ingredient like benzoyl peroxide is that it prevents and kills that bacteria that causes it in the first place. So it's a really good ingredient to help avoid that problem altogether. The other nice thing about benzoyl peroxide is that it's typically found in pretty affordable products. Like the majority of benzoyl peroxide products I know of are at a drugstore price point and really accessible. It's pretty easy to find it and you can find it in varying percentages like 4%, 6%, 8% or 10% depending on how much you feel is necessary. I also know of dermatologists who recommend benzoyl peroxide for helping treat blackheads and for people who have more sensitive skin. That's one of the benefits of benzoyl peroxide being in a face cleanser is that it's on your face for very little so the risk of possible irritation is very low. You can find benzoyl peroxide formulas that are great for dry skin and oily skin. Now the downsides of benzoyl peroxide are pretty big and honestly there's a reason why you probably don't see as many benzoyl peroxide products as you do salicylic acid products, at least I don't. When it comes to any leave-on product that includes benzoyl peroxide, whether it be a spot treatment or a face cream, it can easily stain your pillowcases and your clothes. It has almost like a bleaching effect and it makes it kind of tricky for any type of leave-on product, which is why I typically don't see very many leave-on products available with benzoyl peroxide in them. And the few that I do, I really wouldn't want to use <laughs> just because of that possible risk. Another downside to benzoyl peroxide is that it's a little bit of a bitch to formulate with. It's not a very elegant ingredient to work with. You can't kind of like put it in a great variety of formulas or try to formulate it in a way that won't have that bleaching effect. You know, not all ingredients are made equal and some ingredients are very easy to work with. And then you have ingredients like benzoyl peroxide that are a little bit more tricky and just not as nice of an experience. And that's personally why I believe benzoyl peroxide is most present in cleansers, but also just because you can get the benefits of benzoyl peroxide in a cleanser format where you only have to keep it on your face for like 30 to 60 seconds. I mean, that's a great option. Makes it super easy. Now I will say I'm not the most avid benzoyl peroxide experiment her person. I'm not like on the lookout for new benzoyl peroxide products, but I do have a few favorite ones. My first one being the CeraVe Acne Foaming Wash. I recently discovered this one. It's a 4% benzoyl peroxide face wash, and I was immediately impressed by how hydrating of a cleanser it is. You know, benzoyl peroxide has the reputation of being kind of drying for teenagers with oily, acne-prone skin, but I think the CeraVe cleanser is actually a great example of how benzoyl peroxide can be formulated in really hydrating consistencies. I love using this cleanser personally for when I want some treatment and I'm struggling with breakouts, but I don't want to necessarily 
necessarily like dry out the area. Or if I'm just struggling with a little breakout, I don't want to pound it with anything really intense. This is a great one to go with. It's a low percentage of benzyl peroxide, so it's definitely not the most concentrated thing out there, but it's great for anyone who's just starting into benzyl peroxide. I also love the Panoxyl benzyl peroxide. Blech. My pronunciations are rough today. Foaming wash. This is a 10% concentration and it's a really good product. I personally haven't noticed any like severe stripping effects from this, but I would say people with more active acne or people who do have oilier skin are probably gonna like this more. And I like using this one when my skin really needs it, like 911 emergency girl. Get those breakouts off my face. So now that we know about benzoyl peroxide, let's talk about salicylic acid. <laughs> salicylic acid. Now, if you are an avid watcher of my channel, hell, if you've even watched one of my videos, I am constantly, constantly, constantly talking about salicylic acid. I think this is an incredible ingredient because as opposed to benzyl peroxide, which is more of an antibacterial type ingredient, salicylic acid is a chemical exfoliant, which means it's going to get the dead skin cells off of your face. And if you know about acne, one of the main contributors is built up dead skin cells. Our body produces so much skin. If you're younger, your skin's probably regenerating like every 30 days. If you're older, probably like 45 to 60 days. So our skin's on the move, girl. She's working overtime. But sometimes those dead skin cells aren't properly getting off our face and they can build up in the pore and clock it. Salicylic Salicylic acid from a molecular standpoint is actually the smallest exfoliant, so it's able to go deepest into the pores and exfoliate all the dead skin cells out. Salicylic acid is great because it's one of those ingredients where you notice results usually pretty quickly. You'll notice an improvement. And it's awesome because other ingredients are able to get that deep into the pore to get all those dead skin cells out. And that's where an ingredient like salicylic acid is a great option. One of the reasons I love salicylic acid as well is that you can pretty much formulate it in anything. A cleanser, a serum, a moisturizer, a face mask. It's really nice to work with and a much easier easier ingredient than benzoyl peroxide to be able to include in formulas. So you have a little bit more control over when you can use it in your routine. Some people like it more in a cleanser format because it's gentle, but some people like it in a leave-on treatment where you really notice powerful results. It's really up to you. And overall, it's just a really enjoyable experience. Like I've used salicylic acid-based products that are so lightweight, that sink into the skin so quickly, feel like nothing, never notice anything I don't like, it's great. But one of the downsides is that salicylic acid can be kind of harsh. Actually, a lot of people can possibly be sensitive to it. Some people will experience irritation when using it in a leave-on treatment. And the thing that I've run into a lot of times, salicylic acid doesn't work for everyone. There's a lot of people I know who it really just didn't do anything for their skin. But then again, that's pretty much the case with any ingredient. Ingredients are always a toss-up. You never know what ingredient is going to work for your skin or not. It's all a process of experimentation, but salicylic acid is not one of those ingredients that will absolutely 100% work for every single person who uses it. The other downside is that it is an exfoliant, so it can be kind of harsh, and people tend to overuse salicylic acid a lot. That's my biggest critique of it, I would say. Salicylic acid is one of those ingredients I think is great to use every other day if you absolutely have to, once a day in like a cleanser treatment. But because you can't find salicylic acid in so many different types of products, I know a lot of people who double, triple, quadruple up on their salicylic acid treatments and I'm just like, oh my god, over exfoliation is about to happen. Watch out, bro. Another downside of salicylic acid is that it does have the reputation of being drying because it does reduce the amount of oil and sebum production that you have, which is nice because it'll help to make sure that there's not an overproduction of sebum on your skin that's contributing to the acne, but that means salicylic acid a lot of times is not an ideal ingredient for people with really dry skin. Dependent on the formula, of course, because there are some products out there like the Versed Salicylic Acid Cream Cleanser. That's a great example of a very hydrating, nourishing product that also has a good concentration of salicylic acid. So you can have both those benefits, but just as an FYI, the majority of salicylic acid products out there are usually more meant for people with oily skin. Now, some of my favorite salicylic acid products, I really feel like I don't need to say them, but I'm just going to say them just in case you're a newbie to this channel, just in case you haven't seen any videos I've ever made, I'm just constantly recommending these products. My personal favorite is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Solution. This one is like a toner that is a miracle product. The first time I used it, I applied it before I went to bed. I woke up and my pores looked smaller. I don't know how the f that happened, <laughs> but it just worked really well. And I love this product and every time I use it, it's just magic. And so many people I've recommended this to, they're just like, thank you for recommending this miracle product. And I'm like, I know it's incredible. It's so great. But I also love for like a more gentle experience the Inculus Salicylic Acid Cleanser. This one's a good one that has a good amount to treat acne, but it's in a cleanser format. So if you do have a little bit more sensitive skin or you're not able to tolerate salicylic acid as a leave-on treatment, as a cleanser is a great option. Or the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser, which is one of the most gentle salicylic acid cleansers I found, but I really like that because you're able to get some of those benefits, but not anything really intense. Just in case you are someone who just wants to maintain their skin and make sure you're preventing dead skin cells from building up. Now, another question I've always been asked is, can you use benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid together? And my response is yes, but be particular about it. One of the biggest things I see when it comes to people using treatment products is that they tend to really overuse them or double up or triple up.
Sorry, y'all, my roommate is vacuuming. He's upstairs right above me. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of people making is just doubling or tripling up on their treatments. And I take the approach of it's better to be safe than sorry. It's so much better to start by spacing out your treatments. And then if your skin allows, being able to double up on them. Here's what I mean. I would recommend a system where one day you use salicylic acid, the next day you use benzoyl peroxide, and the third day you take a break. And you just repeat that cycle and see how your skin responds. After that, if you want to use benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid in the same day, you can. But if anything, I would recommend using benzoyl peroxide in the morning as like your morning face cleanser and then salicylic acid at night as your overnight exfoliating treatment. And I know some people would say it's fine to use both products in the same day, but I always say if you're trying these out and you happen to have a sensitivity reaction, you would want to know to which product you had that reaction to. If you're using all these products at the same time, you're not going to be able to know what you reacted to and it's going to be a really difficult process. But with this in mind, there are some benefits to using both. Like I said before, benzoyl peroxide helps to prevent the bacteria that causes the acne and then salicylic acid helps to get rid of those built up dead skin cells. So you're really helping to ensure that your skin is prepped and ready to fight any acne that tries to get on that bitch. Now, which one do I think is better? Honestly, both have their own place. Both are great. Both fulfill their purposes. And it all depends on what you're struggling with. But I have to say, usually salicylic acid is my go-to recommendation just because of the selection of products that you have and because of how quickly you notice results. But again, that's just me and your skin is completely different than mine, which is why it's important to try out and experiment with these ingredients to figure out what works best for your skin. And then for the few people out there who are like, Hiram, I've tried both. I've tried both benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. They didn't work. What do I do now? No worries. There are other treatment ingredients that you can use. For example, one of my new favorite products, let me see if I can find it. Here we go. It's the Inculus succinic acid, succinic, <laughs> succinic acid treatment. This is a really new innovative ingredient that operates like benzoyl peroxide to get rid of the bacteria that causes the acne. But unlike benzoyl peroxide, it doesn't cause bleaching or staining. So it's a really nice alternative. And honestly, this is the only product I found that I personally know of that has succinic acid. So I'm really interested to see if it is going to take over the market and if it's going to grow in popularity. But even this one also has salicylic acid and sulfur, another great acne treatment ingredient. By the way, all the products I'm talking about are listed in the description box below. If you do want to support me and my channel, feel free to use those links and shop from there because I do make a small commission, but no pressure whatsoever. They're just there for a reference. Just make it easier for you. Feel free to just breeze right past it if you don't want to. So this is an example of another product out there. If you want like a sulfur treatment, I loved the Versed Spot treatment. Sulfur is one of those ingredients that's also very difficult to work with, but it can be really effective if benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid on their own don't work. Also, if you're someone who has really, really, really oily skin, you can try clay masks. For example, the Filane clay mask I featured in a few of my videos. It's a great exfoliating mask that includes clays that help to draw out the dirt from in your pores, similar to sulfur. And while I wouldn't say that clay mask would necessarily rescue your skin, it can help a little bit, especially if you're someone who has severely oily skin. So there are other options out there. And if you guys are interested in me making a dedicated video to salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide alternatives, let me know because I will happily do it. But I hope this video shows that both of these ingredients are great and it really just comes down to you and what your personal struggle with acne is and what you want to try out. I personally would recommend trying out both, seeing what works best for your skin. But if nothing else, I hope you walked away from this video just with a little bit more knowledge. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.